Hey you guys, welcome to your uh, bi-weekly love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of January 2021. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings. So they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. <clears throat> um, if you are wanting to reach me by phone, that's a separate process, so be sure that um, you're registered at Bill Per Call and you can request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within um, a seven day time frame. And um, also, if you have not checked out Patreon, be sure to do so. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the Venus readings are there now as well as uh, additional readings that you might enjoy. Um, now we have here the deck I'm using is Super Lunaris, uh, Super Lunaris, Super Lunaris Tarot. I feel like I don't know why I'm just going to stumble saying that every time. All right, so we have Central Issue Heart of the Heart of the Matter as Death. We have the Nine of of uh, Swords, Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Page of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the Three of Swords. All right, so I feel like you guys are going through uh, a lot of anxiety or some sort of changes or endings here. Looks like things have been going on in your sleep or in your dreams as well. Something about rainbows may seem to be um, significant to you. I don't know if you've been dreaming about rainbows or seeing rainbow colors or rainbow orbs. Um, maybe it's possible that messages are being revealed to you in your dreams. I feel too like some of you are having anxiety about either a current relationship or you're having anxiety about when a relationship will begin. Mm. I feel like someone is going through it though. Something's going on. It just looks like maybe there's uh, someone's having to deal with some sort of transformations now it could be and you know i don't predict death but something could have happened in the past where um you know maybe someone lost a family member uh and they're just kind of going through some things and um it could be affecting a relationship and i got you know similar messages out for taurus too and i do have earth out so i don't know if you're dealing with the taurus um but yeah, I just feel like there's definitely been some shedding of the ego going on. Hmm. Now to, I don't know, I'm not to get too paranormal since this is, you know, a love reading, but I don't know too if you've been visited by spirits or ghosts that have been trying to get your attention in regards to your love life or the future of your love life. Now, again, could be something going on with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, and you, or uh, another air sign. So Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Mm, there could be some, some kind of uh, communication problems um, or someone that's being distant or saying things that are hurtful, saying things that cause pain. Hmm. I'm feeling like something is going on in regards to family tradition something is generational some of you maybe you're feeling like you're cursed 
or you're asking is this like a generational curse like something's going on where you're asking about you know things that are passed down in the family you're wondering if if the same thing is going to happen to you that happened to family members or your ancestors I feel like there is a desire for stability or the potential for stability is there, but I don't know. There's an issue. Something isn't working. I feel like something's falling apart. A foundation is crumbling or falling apart. Something is rotting. Now, hopefully someone isn't sick. I don't know if someone is sick and just, or, you know, they aren't feeling well. Someone's uh, health could be affecting a relationship, physical health or mental health or emotional health. Something's going on. Mm, definitely looks like there's some crying and suffering. Somebody might be having a pity party or feeling sorry for themselves, uh, feeling attacked feeling verbally attacked, mentally attacked. Hmm. I feel like somebody's going through pain right now. Now, also there's a situation where maybe either family is is an issue. Like hmm. Like your family is somehow affecting your relationship or preventing you from having relationships or it's happening to the person that you're supposed to be dealing with their family is somehow getting in the way um, and the other thing that I'm picking up is that somebody might be going through some sort of pain because they're finding out you might be finding out that you were dealing with someone who's already in a relationship and Asking yourself, how did you not see this coming? Or how did you miss the clues? Like something's going on where I feel like you might be beating yourself up for not seeing something before it happened. Mm. Hmm. I feel like you guys are going through something. Painful. Even if you're completely single, it's just there's something going on around you or just with your personal lives. So it looks like something's being revealed to you in a dream or there are messages someone's maybe trying to get your attention or maybe someone is sharing something on the internet uh, that they're going through a breakup or someone may be publicly speaking about the things that are happening in their life about how they're suffering about something. Someone also may have deleted their social media or has become inactive or deactivated something. Now, somebody's uh, relationship definitely could have been an illusion could have just been for show, um, could be trouble in paradise. Hmm. I feel like someone's venting about their troubled life. Now, you could be dealing with any sign. So I named earth and air. Also could be a fire sign involved or water. Mm. I 
I feel like a fire sign is also having some sort of anxiety over you or you're having anxiety in regards to a fire sign. It seems too like there are other people somehow affecting your love life. Other parties are involved. If a relationship recently ended, I feel like that's spirit looking out for you. You might not see it that way right now because you're hurting. But I feel like spirit had to take something away from you. I heard the name Monica for somebody. Yeah, somebody is going through heartache, going through a separation, hurting. I feel like somebody was blinded uh, about some sort of betrayal. They didn't see it happening. Somebody's turning a blind eye. I also feel like maybe someone is trying, like I said, trying to get your attention, but maybe you're turning a blind eye. And this is crushing them. into the following week I feel like you're still struggling to have emotional balance and security there you may still be dealing with insecurities rejection um, trust and abandonment issues unfortunately unfortunately something always also looks like you are receiving karma. If it is not you, then yes, it's possible that, you know, someone is receiving their karma. And this is the energy that they're going through. Um, they're thinking about you. They're suffering. Um, but there is definitely some sort of emotional suffering going on, you guys. Um, I feel too like you keep receiving messages in your dreams. Something you might be feeling haunted by your past. It just seems like you're trying to escape your past or um, run away from feelings that you're going through. Some people are putting up blocks because they're hurt. Mm. There's something that you might be doing and you think you are avoiding pain, but it's really just making it worse. Um, I feel like you're also passing up opportunities to heal or to self-examine why you're going through what you're going through. Again, I'm getting family issues and feeling ignored or rejected by family. Hmm. Or there could have been some sort some sort of loss in the family. Finances also could be something that is that you're struggling with. That could be affecting uh, relationships or you wanting to even put yourself in a relationship if you don't have, if you're not financially secure. I do feel like whatever losses that you're going through or experiencing is building you or making you stronger like you had to undergo these transformations you had to learn from past mistakes 
something is really being ingrained in you or it's like you're being branded like you'll I bet you won't forget this time um, so something is happening so that I feel like is so so painful that you'll never forget um, so yeah I feel like something is being embedded in you so that you you'll remember and it does look like you're going to start viewing things differently or have more of uh, a spiritual outlook on love and relationships or the path that you've been on you also may need to release there's something that you're needing to release Excuse me. I also feel like if you are severely emotional, like it is coming off as physical pain. And I don't know what that's called, what that condition is called, but it's almost like you're going through something so traumatic mentally or emotionally that it feels physical. Maybe you feel physically nauseated or you've been feeling dizzy or you've been feeling like, you know, you've got pains in you. You're like, oh, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, I'm in pain. It's like I feel like something is transferring into physical pain because you're being affected so deeply. Um, so it does look like you will have a break from all this Suffering and I know I'm talking about the suffering so much, but you know, it's like you've got to deal with it You've just got to face it for what it is so that it can um, You can manage it or get a hold of it um, and kind of shape Shape the direction of your future um, You can either have this outlook or that outlook, you know, so It's up to you with how you're perceiving what you're going through. You can either be like, woe is me, or be like, you know, oh, I'm grateful that I underwent these difficult changes so that I could transform into a butterfly. Yep. I don't know too if you've shut out a fire sign or if they shut you out. I kind of feel like someone is not getting the same response. Uh, something is definitely unrequited between you and a fire sign. Mm. And I also feel like something is like you can dish it, but you can't take it. So if someone had been doing you dirty for so long, and then when you finally walk away or do give them a taste of their own medicine, they can't handle it. Yeah. So hopefully these messages will resonate, but feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.